my graduation so um, last year I completed my Bachelor of Health Sciences I was majoring in nutrition um, which I'm sure you guys probably all know and yeah today is the graduation ceremony so I am technically still a uni student because I um, applied for masters as a postgrad and now I am completing a two-year master's degree as well. So at the end of the next two years, I will have a bachelor's and a master's. But either way, I thought I wanted to do the ceremony because I'm a big believer in traditions. And my grandma is so proud. And she is 90, 93 or 94 now. So, um, I mean, if she's still around in two years, then that's great. But if she's not, that's not too surprising. So, yeah, I wanted to sort of do this for, well, one for myself because even though I'm going to do it all again in two years, I want to go, I want to have the experience, I want to have the pictures, I want to sit and be bored for two hours waiting for them to call my name. I want the whole lot. Um, and to, yeah, I want my family to be there. So, yeah, anyway, that's my morning. Um, I am, it's actually seven, like, 7.50 at the moment and I'm just about to eat breakfast. I've got my breakfast laid out here. I've got um, just some oats, like normal um, coffee of course. I'm drinking almond milk these days and then this is just, what's it called? Apple cider vinegar and water because I'm trying to get on that bandwagon because it's supposed to be super good for you. Um, I actually got a pretty busy morning. The ceremony itself doesn't start till 11 a.m. Um, but I have to be there at 10.30. And before I knew what the date of graduation was, because you have to apply and then they'll just like tell you which day. Because there are like five days that they do graduation ceremonies and it just depends which one you fall into. Um, and mine happened to be the Friday. So, yeah, I didn't know that it was going to be today and I had coincidentally booked an eyelash fill appointment. Which is lucky because my lash is looking pretty sparse at the moment so I'm making a whole video on that as well I'm not sure if that'll be up before or after this but yeah so basically all I'm doing right now getting ready I pre curled my hair last night as well as my hair extensions so that will make it easy to put in I'm probably gonna have to put those in before I go to my lash appointment this is my outfit it's so cute the pants are from cook eye they're actually my sister's because I wanted to borrow something from her just to save a bit of money on the top I got last night it's just um, from like MCL. And then I got some new shoes, which are like literally the same as some shoes I already have, just like slightly pointier. So like if my mom knew that I bought them, she'd be so mad at me. <laughs> but it's my money, my shoes. I'll buy what I like. And then this is the robe thing. So I'm just gonna give everything a steam um, while I'm eating my breakfast and I'm just watching some YouTube. And then yeah, so I've gotta have to get to my appointment my eyelash appointment is at nine but she's pretty quick she normally takes only like 45 minutes so then I'll be done by quarter to ten and then I can come home um you yeah, put my extensions in I don't know, I'll already have the extensions in like I said I'm not gonna have any choice I'll finish off my makeup fully get dressed get all my shit together and then get to uni um so yeah I'm trying to get as much ready as I can before the appointment so that afterwards I can just come home, do final touch-ups and get out the door. I love to give what we young dumb, young dumb broke, young dumb, young dumb broke, young dumb, young dumb broke, young dumb. Okay, so everything's been quickly steamed. Um, I just want to show you quickly, because like I said, I've got very minimal time to get ready. So last night I like laid out everything I need. I bought some new jewelry I see. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this. I'll probably just wear the little one because I changed my mind on what style of top I was gonna wear. So I'm gonna wear So I think I'm gonna wear this little um, gold and quartz one instead of the big one. But I do have some little dream catcher earrings. And yes, yeah, so I laid out all my makeup. So I've already done my skincare. It's over here. I've then got my um, SPF, then primer, foundations, um, my palettes for like my contouring 
eyeshadows and stuff, and then highlights and mascaras and things. So this I can do before we go and maybe even I'll contour. And then that obviously the eyeshadow and eyeliner mascara will have to wait. But yeah, I feel like I'm gonna even maybe leave it like this some days. Whenever I don't have much time to get ready in the mornings, I'll leave it like this. That way I can just like get ready in super super quick. High school kids. clip pieces so if you haven't seen my hair extensions video I'll link it down below the editing is kind of like shit to be honest because I was using a brand new program I downloaded Adobe so I was using Adobe Adobe Premiere Pro and I haven't got the hang up yet so it like exported in not the highest quality mm. I think I'm just gonna put on some deodorant um, like a hoodie or like a zip up hoodie over the top of this so it's gonna ruin my hair and then go to my appointment because then I can come back my hair is done my face makeup is done I will add some highlight but mostly I just need to do my eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara. But wait till after I get my lashes done and then I'll do my fringe. Obviously I just have a pin back because I'm going to get my lashes done. I'm literally going to wear these pajama pants to the appointment because I don't think it even looks that bad. And I've just been listening to Cardi B's new album. Um, I guess it's not that new anymore but like fire. <laughs> um, but yeah and then I'll put my pants on, my shoes when I get back. Um, I better turn my steamer off actually but yeah today's just like an all over the place day but my appointment in yeah like 15 minutes so I gotta get out of the house like now because I can't be late because I need to be running on time so that I can come home in time so yeah all right I'm off okay so I wanted to do an accurate before and after so this is me with my foundation on but no eye makeup Okay, so lashes done. Oh my god, they look stunning. I asked to go a little bit longer, but they didn't get super, super long. Um, that's the only thing. Like, she doesn't do, like, the fullest, longest lashes. They're more natural, which means they do last longer. But she literally took, like, 35 minutes, which is amazing. So I'm going to head home now, get ready to do grad. So I've got to fix my hair and all of that fun stuff. And, yeah, I will catch up with you probably when I'm like literally leaving the house because I'm not gonna have much time I'll just show you like my outfit and then we'll get going and I don't know if I'm going to do any footage of the actual ceremony probably not because it's just gonna be like my mum, my dad and my nana there because I can only get three tickets to like the ceremony bit itself and it goes from one to two hours so I wouldn't want them to like be filming the whole thing just waiting for me to come or anything um, but I'll, if I get a picture of me, like, getting my um, diploma, I'll put that, I'll insert that. And other than that, I'll just show you afterwards and a bit of, like, throwing the hat up and all of that fun stuff. So, yeah, I'll just wait and see what sort of footage I can get. And um, my boyfriend is going to come afterwards, at least when we go out to get some food. Although I'm not sure if, I'm, if I want to do that. It'll depend how long the ceremony goes for. Because if the ceremony is really long then I'm not really going to have time to go have like a proper lunch. I might just say we'll go get coffee and a smoothie or something because I want to go see, visit my grandma because she's living in a um, nursing home at the moment. Like I said, she's 94, I think. That's my dad's mum. And she is really proud and graduating and she went to my dad's graduation and my grandpa's graduation. Um, he's since passed away. 
but um and i really wanted to wear his rope because my grandpa had his own graduation gown which my dad wore on his graduation but then my dad lent it out to a friend and never got it back so don't lend things out to your friends um but yeah so i have to hire one and that's okay like i've got it and it's fine you would have seen that in the start of this video and dad's one would have been like way oversized on me and it might not have even been the right kind because they're super specific about which what kind of robe you have to wear for your specific degree anyway um but yeah, that is my day. Got ceremony, then some food, then going to my grandma's to show her me in my outfit and we can get a picture um, and stuff like that. And then tonight is actually, um, I've mentioned this a few times, but we've got some international students living with us. And one of them, Cameron, she's from the US. She's from Minnesota, I think. I may have made that up. No, I'm pretty sure it's Minnesota. And she has her formal tonight because they're doing school here. So she's 17 which means that she's gone into year 12, I think. Um, I think she's doing year 12 here, or maybe it's year 11. But either way, there's a year 12 dance, so it's like the formal, it's kind of like prom, um, and she's going to that. So I'm gonna help her get ready for that, which is why I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to go get food and go see my grandma and then have me home by like four to help her with her hair. So, Fingers crossed, all goes to plan. I did a little meditation this morning, and so far everything is working out well. And yeah, power of a positive mindset. Okay, so this is my outfit. Again, pants from Kukai. These shoes are just from Betts. The top was from MCL, I think. And earrings are Levisa. I've got the rest of my jewelry in my bag, in my pocket, because I couldn't, um, what's it called? <sighs> Put it on with these nails. Um. But yeah, gotta go. I'm running late. Got to go. Young, dumb, broke high school kids. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that, yeah. Young, dumb, broke high school kids. Graduates, congratulations. The degree or degrees that you've received today are your own personal achievements of which you should be justly proud. special occasions yeah. is your limit. Okay. I mean today doesn't count as a special occasion? Yeah, special and how many to be okay, six. So today was more special than a birthday. Yeah, okay. Well at least we got special treatment, so thank you. Oh there they are. Graduation is done. I've got my certificate in hand that she gave us a whole bunch of um, Like papers. It was like a lot to carry so mum's got the rest of mine I'm Just walking up to meet them at the car and yeah, then we're gonna go off We had lunch just at the little at a little cafe here called nutrition Republic and it's so freaking good Um, because you got like there was like a special deal you could do at the restaurant upstairs just a little bit more like fancy or formal I guess 
but there was only one vegetarian option and I had yogurt so I wouldn't be able to get that and it like included a dessert but I couldn't eat the dessert because you know it's not vegan it's just banjo so we decided to go somewhere else and I'm really happy about it it turned out a lot better but yeah I'll catch up with you in a sec <laughs> well yes I'll I've got one more graduation Bryony's got one so we'll graduate at the same time just on a different day next in two years and then Steph when will she because she's only just yeah. started she no, she's done a year. She should technically graduate the, the same, same year. Time. Oh, so there'll be if three. She does it all three in 2020. And you just don't know with Steph. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe by then she'll have a baby, though. Yeah. Well, she can still graduate if she's on. Yeah, but she, it might be a bit different. Well, you can have a baby and do all sorts of things these days. It's just a bit hard to do work, baby, and uni. Yeah. Two out of three is yeah. probably... She can't do all I think once the baby's born, maybe Dick can just stay home with the baby and she can go back to work. No. You can just have the baby, Mum. <laughs> Maybe not full time, I'm just four, four out of five days. I'm clearly in the car again, off to see my grandma, like I told you earlier, who is my dad's mum, and he is busy, so he can't actually come with me right now. I am going by myself, because dad has work to do, because it's 2.30 now, and he's not really done any work today, and he works from home as an architect. So, you know, I made an Instagram, which actually got hacked. Um, funny story, I can share more about that. It's funny when um, my parents try to use social media, I was teaching him how to do it, but he kind of knows like old school coding when he originally made his own website for his business. Um, so he was like going a little bit too far with it. And then he was on um, like doing it all on the computer. Like he figured out how to make his computer appear like a smartphone so that he could post his Instagram off of his computer rather than off of his phone because he doesn't like to use his phone. Um, anyway, so he ended up getting hacked and someone stole his account, which, I mean, would only happen to my dad. Like, what are the chances? He'd only made, like, five posts and everything. Um, anyway, he can't come because he's got work to do. And mum wouldn't come without dad, and she's also got other stuff to do. And my nana, who's my mum's mum, she had to go home. And Jack's got um, work to do as well because he's a uni student, just like me. Um, so he'll actually be graduating at the end of this. Well, he'll be completing his degree this year, and then he'll his graduation will be this time and next year. So yeah, um, I'm off to see grandma by myself because she couldn't come to the ceremony, which I'm pretty sure I've mentioned already. It's just cause she's a lot older. She's quite frail. Um, it's just too difficult. And she doesn't like to be out of um, her sort of like comfort zone. Like if she goes to the shops, it's for like only like short times because she doesn't like to go anywhere where she might need to like use a bathroom in public and things like that. So, and she can't walk very far, she's got a frame. So I'm gonna go see her cause she's super proud and yeah, wants to see me in my outfit, I'll probably take a picture or two. I was hoping, because they're she's actually at a really nice um, aged care facility, and it is at like an old, um, quite formal house. I don't, want you, don't know what you'd call it, but there's a really lovely gardens out the front, and she loves gardening. That's like her, was her and my grandpa's like favorite thing. They had like the best garden when my dad was growing up. But, um, but now it's just started to rain. So the clouds have come in super dark overhead and just as I'm speaking now, the rain has started. Okay, I think in future if I'm going to vlog and drive, I'm gonna need to get like a mount for my car or something. Cause it just like, my camera basically face planted into my center console, so poops. Um, I'm quite happy with how my makeup and hair turned out for like literally 25 minutes. Um, well obviously I'd done my foundation previously which you saw. But then adding like all the highlight and doing my eyeshadow and stuff. And the fresh set of lashes definitely helps. But yeah, and my hair didn't get too flat. It definitely isn't as curly as it was. But I quite like the sort of natural, um, messy, more beachy waves I guess you'd call it. I'm just trying to take all the corners super slow so that my camera 
doesn't fall over. Um, but yeah, this has been like a four minute long clip already, so I guess I'll just catch up with you in a second. I don't know how people vlog and keep them so short because I just like film and film and film. I guess I just like ramble on heaps, but um, yeah. Um, now they did have like a, what's it called? Um, they gave you a deal if you wanted to get lunch there at the restaurant upstairs. And this is the photo of when I actually got, when we were up on stage. So this is, I don't know, the head of the uni, I guess. Oh, yeah, um, and they give you a big, this is the actual degree itself. Oh, well, that's bigger, I think, than this. Yeah, they've made them larger. Oh, it's a lovely. Oh, mm -hmm. it yeah. I'm sure. I, enjoy, I like the tradition of it all. I do too. I know. And there were a few people I could hear talking behind me, and they said that they uh, they were in the same position as me, that they have um, another one to go to in mm. two years' time. But guess how much they charge to get the photo? Oh, terrible. $45. Oh, they say in 1966, there were 90 staff members and 400 students at Flinders. And now there's 2,486 staff and 27,000 students. That's not graduating, that's in the whole uni, but 27,000 students at the uni in 2017. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Like, there's your beautiful figure. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, yeah, the pants are stiff. They're quite expensive, so I just borrowed them off of her. I figure if she's going to go and spend the money on them. Yeah. And I like the colour. Very me. Baby pink. Is that pink? Yeah. It's a very pale pink. The top and the shoes are white, but the actual pants are pink. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you wore your glasses, it would help. To me, that's cool. Oh, you're not far off. It is quite pale. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you again in a few weeks. Okay. Yeah. I know you have your holiday before. Um, I might do. Yeah. If not, I'll come see. You. I'll either see you before or after Brisbane. Anyway, I'll see you. I don't Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. See, this is my outfit we were talking about. My grandma can't really see very well and she doesn't wear her glasses because she thinks it makes her look old. <laughs> Which is just hilarious to the rest of us because she's 93. Like, she's going to look old anyway. 94. She's in her mid-90s. But yeah, cook eye pants and a white top. Now, off home to help Cam with her hair. Yeah, these are the gardens I was talking about and they just keep going and going. I might just come under this gazebo quickly and try and get a cute pic because I feel like you can never take okay, this might sound like super vain but you can never take too many pictures especially on like important moments like this because like you never get to properly relive it so this way I'll have not only a photo for the Instagram it's not all about that it's about remembering the day and everything that happened But yeah, so now that that is all over with, it's time for me to head home. This hat has graduation caps and fringes just really do not mix. So, but what can you do? <laughs> Alright, home now. Just did Cam's hair. Um, she's off to get dressed into her dress. I've just got my Baby Bliss Pro. Um, but yeah, and she's probably going to borrow a lipstick too because she doesn't really have any with her. Um... She's not like a super girly girl makeup kind of person. So I think if there's time, I might just add like a little bit to her because her friends are going to be all like, you didn't do your makeup. So yeah, I offered to do a little bit more for her. Um, and then that's pretty much my night done. I might even go to the gym later. Which I know most people would like go out um, cocktails, but not me, not tonight. I'm going to be going out on Sunday anyway for uh, work drinks. So I'm sure I'm going to have my fair share of cocktails then. Okay, so Cam is up to four more now. I just have a little vegan cake thing. Mm-mm-mm. 
So my sister and Sharina just got me some flowers. We're pretending that it's this bunch, but it's actually this little bunch here. <laughs> but it's, it's still very sweet. <laughs> so this one's what for your um, coach? Yes. The big one? Netball okay. Coach. Nice. Thanks, guys. No worries. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, we're putting a ribbon on it too. Well, you already gave it to me. <laughs> Just modeling with the milk in his outfit. No, I'm trying to, <laughs> no, to get out of it. No, I thought I have to go find somewhere to put them. And then more flowers. <laughs> flowers everywhere today. <laughs> I don't know if I have, well, I mean, I'm sure I'll find somewhere, but like, I normally put my flowers here. But it's currently a mess, so I might just put them by the TV for now. Happy graduation to me. <laughs> okay, so I've changed into gym stuff. I'm about to take my extensions out, but I'm actually just making dinner, so I thought I'd show you what I'm doing since I just graduated from nutrition. I've got these little corn tortillas. Now normally I would have more of these, like yesterday for lunch I think I had four or five even. But like I said, I'm going to go to the gym, so, well, gym clothes, gym. So I'm just going to have two, so that way I'm not, like, too full, and I can get a good workout in, and then I'll have, like, a smoothie or something afterwards, like, just like, some fruit and protein powder and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is my gluten-free, soy-free, vegan <laughs> dinner. I'm only new to the gluten-free, soy-free, and I don't think everyone needs to do that. That's just... Me, personally, because I've had quite some bad breakouts and bloating, so I'm trying to narrow down what it is. But yeah, cucumbers are pretty much, it's a cucumber, but kind of looks like a baby watermelon. We grow them ourselves, and then the beans are black beans with, so it's a tin of black beans, a tin of cherry tomatoes, a tin of corn, and just some um, chopped up, I think I'd use red onion, but brown onions will do. And that is my dinner. Okay, so it is now quarter past six and I have to have my um, robe and hat and stuff back by 7pm. So I'm going to go do that now and like I said, I'm in my gym stuff. So I'm going to go off to the gym straight from there. Um, so I think I'm just going to finish this video off here. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions about uni life, let me know in the comments down below. Because I would love to make a video like a sort of Q&A style all about uni. So if you have any questions about my degree that I've just done or about the degree that I am currently doing then yeah, leave me a comment down below because I will get back to you either in comment form or I will just make a video on it. So yeah, um, that's all I have to say. I hope you have enjoyed. If you're not already, then please subscribe and hit the little notification bell if you want to know exactly when I post. It's just right down there underneath my video. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And I will finish off by saying, in the words of Elle Woods, always have faith in people, but most importantly, Always have faith in yourself. I'll see you next time.